This is Rylan. I call him Buckshot. Bonjour. Bonjour. Buenos dias. Good day. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Anyang haseo. Zin ciao. Buongiorno. Come stai? Say, e, io sto bene, sto e bene. Io sto bene. Uh, something like that. Yes, okay. Let's jump into our Friday grid. I've got a helper okay. today. So, um, distinction not used in the military. So, that means something that they don't say in the military, that they don't use in the military. So, don't have enough yet to go with this. Eschewing help, tabloid pair. I think this is an item, as in... Uh, and when they do those portmanteaus of these items, like uh, Benifer and um, Brad Jelena or something, undertone of cold porters, let's do it. Well, that's sex, of course. Stipulation that's more common in a seller's market would be, you are buying this house as is. We're making no repairs as is. Uh, distinction not used in the military. Um, they don't, they don't use fight to the death. Fight to the death? Oh, well, all right. Cry during an argument between siblings. Mom! Mom! Uh, let's see, makes the case. I'm thinking argues. Vacancy sign probably to let... Trailers for sale or rent. Centers of some centers, book binding leather. That's actually lamb skin or yeah. sheep skin. I can't remember. It's called roan. Roan is also uh, how you would describe a certain colors of like horses, you know, when they had like, the brown and the white or whatever. I don't know. My deepest, deepest apologies. Um, jerk, always an ass if it's three letters. So this is probably atria centers of some centers. Like in most malls, you have atria, which is an area where they have trees. Trees. Uh, flora of some sort. Or pop-up booths. Well, pop booths exactly. Hello, I know you don't want this, but we're going to sit here and haggle you until you decide to buy it. Let's see, stops along the way. You know what I do when I'm approached by someone like that at the mall? I just start speaking to them in French or German, and they never. they just like, okay, go away. Just one good reason to learn another language. So get out of that stuff. When we're in Germany and someone's asking me on the road, you know, you want to buy this, you want to buy that, you want to join this or whatever, and I just always look at them and, and then I do my best to give them a clear sentence in Vietnamese that does it. Stops along the way, say, we're going to be talking about motel rooms. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You were thinking well, that? No, not motel, but I was thinking rooms. Well, distinction not used in the military, this is going to be AM, PM. Do you know why you don't use AM or PM in because... issuing help solo? Oh, Plexiglass. yeah. They're showing kelp away? They're what? Showing kelp away? Um, no. What they're doing, AM, PM, is a distinction between morning and evening. And in the military, we use 24 hour clock. So instead of 1 PM, it's 1300. Okay, Nozaka, bueno. That's something I did not know. Oh, the active ingredient in off is DEET. Okay. Oh, the humanities. This looks like it's going to be a silly one. This is going to be another another nod to us liberal arts majors in the world. My deepest apologies. I'm so sorry. How does that sound? Adage for the risk averse. Exchange words in a way. DIY booster seats. Okay. Do-it-yourself booster seats? Yeah, do-it-yourself booster seats. What could you use for a booster seat? A child. A phone book? Yeah. Or a child. You could use a child in a booster Phone seat. book actually works. So yeah, let's, like child on another child. let's see if phone book is it. That would be fun. Okay. Phone books. Now what do we have here? Exchange words in a way. Is it iPhone? <laughs> no, I don't think so. In an atmosphere of probably a mid- uh, have faith, no idea, uh, exchange words in a way, lamenting words, oh my, no, that would, that would be more surprise or feigned shock, um, ah, me, 
Ah, me. That's awful. If that's it, I'm going to be irritated. That's a terrible clue. Terrible answer. Ah, me. I don't think anybody... You say alas if you were going to be all woeful about something and self-centered and not focused on the bigger picture. Hat material for the paranoid. Okay, this is when people are kind of crazy. They have to wear the tinfoil hats, right? So I'm thinking this is foil. Let's see if this ah, me is going to hold up now. Advantage. Adage for the risk adverse is going to be probably... You're looking at me weird. Safety first, but we got to check our work, make sure. To exchange words in a way is to spar, yes, and then have faith is to rely. And looks like we've got like an adjustable drinking star, straw. Looks like it's going to be bendy, and that's another one I don't like. Bendy. Bendy. It's bendy. You can move it around. I don't know. I don't. Like, it's just lazy. You know, you mean ink bendy? Like a bendy straw. I think uh, I think that's lazy. I thought he was talking about the game in Bendy. Pithy remark, probably going to be a mo, as in a bon mo. Central Asian savory pastry. This is Samsa, Samra, Sam. I get it a lot. I don't think I've ever had one though. Uh, equal rights, perhaps. Heck yeah. I don't know. Occasions to read the Haggadah. This would be Satyrs. Um, I like a good Pesach Seder. Testing grounds for aspiring politicians. Don't know. Setting for a battle in Lawrence of Arabia. Yes, T.E. Lawrence. Um, that was in Aqaba. Akaba, if I remember correctly, I haven't read that since, oh gosh, I was in my early 20s. Spilling a soft drink on someone or dancing on a host's sofa. This is looking like a party foul. What do you think? Would that be a party foul, Rilo? I think. Sounds like one. Mm -hmm. uh, Banksy work. Well, Banksy's one of my favorite artists. I really wish I could get to meet this secretive individual. I want to see Slip is to err, right? To make a mistake, perhaps. What do we got here? Some nudes. Gift for gifts. So nudes and body kind of goes. So this looks like it could be goodie bag. Goody or some bag. people call them a swag bag. A swag bag. I'm a swag and I'm a bag. <laughs> Clever. Well, I'm not really a bag, but... Some people at school call me a dad because sometimes I'm out of my mind. Good for you. And that's like the your dad. Now, an AC converter is probably a diode. A diode? Uh-huh. Right, because you had AC to DC, which is battery to, you know, you're talking about going from electrical power uh, to um, battery power. And vice versa. Irreverent Christmas tune. Yes, yeah, Central Asian Savory Paste. I think this is a Samsa. Heck yeah, looks like this is going to be darn tootin'. That noise in the background is, uh, is popcorn being made. Uh, Irreverent Santa. A Christmas tune is Santa Baby, maybe? Santa Baby. Some nudes. Big name and pest control. Probably gonna be Orkin. Orkin. Second half. Second half with a question mark, which means it's gonna be something clever, generally speaking. So I'm gonna go with Alter Ego would be your second half. Uh, Rocky Road ingredient with a question mark. So this is not going to be something in the ice cream like marshmallows oh, or chocolate know, chips. What it is? What? The rocky road ingredient is rocky, <laughs> like rocks. Well, I think you're right. I'm thinking if this is causing of a wolverine is an otter, so I bet this is. Um, I think that's maybe pea gravel because a rocky road, like, is an asphalt. Pea gravel. Pea gravel. Yes, it's the size of peas. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Worries over some details. Probably fusses. I thought you were talking about actual peas. Hmm. Uh, what red might indicate? No idea. Some news. They're probably body doubles. Mm -hmm. 
Spice. Testing grounds for some aspiring politicians. I mean, so this would be maybe debate teams. Debates. Debate teams. Debate. Pretends is probably feign. It's funny, I just used that word a while ago. Feign. Uh, what red might indicate is probably debt. You must sit back here. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. Thank you. Thank you. Spikes, for example. Shoes? Shoes? Yeah, stiletto spikes, I guess that would help. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A veil. Help. help is a veil. A oh, very simple Friday today. Yeah, pretty. it's pretty simple. Pretty simple, you think? Yeah, I agree. Awesome in modern slang. So this would probably be a fox, and that means particle, maybe an iota. One with bright and dark sides. Um, nasty, maybe vile. You vile. The world's smallest violent. <laughs> awesome in modern slang. Modern parlance would be fire. That is fire. I've had a lot of those different uh, slangy idioms through my life, from sick to rad to fire to cool. Cool beans. Backup plans. Um, hey you. No, no, fop, fop. A fop is the is a preening sort. Hey you. It's supposed to be. Psst. Would, would you <laughs> kindly stop that? Thank you. Drive with on. I don't know. Let's try to finish this thing. Okay. Yeah. Sound from the satisfied. So close. Is a sigh really from the satisfied? I mean, I guess you could sigh in relief. Dance in a ring. Well, that's an aura. A aura. God awful would be grim. And let's just see if this is it. Uh, Hans Zimmer. Yes. Uh, Oscar winning composer for Dune. Hans. Now what do we got here? Sharon, who starred in The Trials of Rosie O'Neill. I don't remember. Um, How many soul supporters. Joe inserts. Granddaddy. I mean, I wasn't thinking it was like the fish. Um, one with bright and dark sides. Drive with on. Oh, egg on. Egging it on. To drive it on. And okay. one with bright and dark sides would be an evil genius. Yes, what's up, buddy? How many subscribers do you have? How many what? Subscribers do you have? Uh, thousands and thousands. Well, I'm, I'm one of those subscribers. Good subscribe. for you. And i tell you what I appreciate. That doesn't look right. See, these are dollies, vile, pea gravel, um, Sharon Glass. Um, Mizoneism versus uh, hatred of anything new. I think that's new. Um, frontier direction during frontier times. Which way did they go? They went west. And I have yeah, something's not right in there. So let's take a look and see what we got. Let's take a look. See what we got. Uh, real. Uh, let's see. Check puzzle. Oh, I should have looked at the down. That's actress Greta Garbo. So I, I don't know what I was doing with that. Again, misspelling it. No bueno. But. We did it. We did it. We got through it relatively quickly, I suppose. Uh, but nevertheless, it was fun having you here with me today. It was great. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's just say uh, goodbye in as many languages as we can. So let's just say uh, auf Wiedersehen. Um, uh, bonne journée. Uh, adios. Adios. Que tengas buen dias. Masalama. Añang hi aseo. Ciao. Arrivederci. Ciao. Ciao. You think of anything else? Toodles. All right. Okay. Let's call this good. Goodbye. Bye.